Hello again, Tyler Hollis, children's illustrator and publisher. I'm here today with another book I just finished for a client and it's, it's one you're going to love. I thoroughly enjoyed doing it. Uh, the watercolors in the book are gorgeous and the message is outstanding. It's called The Unicorn Adventures. And it's about a unicorn named Aurora, a little boy, Christopher, and honey hair, and a little raccoon named Maurice. The story is the little boy goes into the woods. He's very young. He goes into the woods. He gets lost and frightened, and he runs into this beautiful unicorn, which, as we all know, unicorns are a symbol of God's love. So this unicorn takes him on adventures through this magical, beautiful woods and shows him not to be afraid, to believe in himself and believe in God, and things will be great. Now, some of the illustrations in here I wanted to show you. Great. This is the cover. Notice the beautiful rainbow and the falls, the magic falls. And of course, here's the unicorn. And this is my favorite part in the whole book, to Tyler. Thank you for all your hard work, your loving guidance throughout the process, and for the most beautiful illustrations. You help make our story lovely and magical. You make our dreams come true. You are a blessing, so easy to work with and a joy to know. With love and gratitude, Michelle Christopher and Tommy Rosso. That's always my favorite part. But this tells about how unicorns are a universal system of love and purity. God has given all unicorns a special horn from which God's unconditional and divine love flows. Like guardian angels, unicorns can appear to us when we're lost or afraid, and they remind us just how much God loves us. So whenever you become afraid, think of the regal unicorn as a beacon of hope in a universal system of love. By the way, a portion of the profits of the sale of the Unicorn Adventures will be donated to the Unicorn Foundation to fund charitable endeavors. Here's where it starts. The little boy wanders away from his parents. He's intrigued by the beautiful, fanciful woods on the edge of the meadow. And he meets the unicorn. See the soft watercolor magical background here? Then he realizes that the unicorn loves him and will protect him. And the unicorn bends down so he can touch its horn. He feels the love. He hugs the unicorn. He can feel her power and her warmth. They ride off together to explore the magical woods. The trees have faces. All the animals are talking to him. And here's Honey Hare, who's a bit of a diva, and Maurice. And they greet Christopher and Aurora. And they go off through the woods, running and jumping, and he's not afraid because the unicorn will protect him, so he's not afraid about falling off. He shuts his eyes when they get to the magical place, and he looks up and he sees the double rainbow. It, the place is called the Rainbow Forest. Everyone plays in the water and the butterflies play and the birds sing. And Aurora says, it's time to go back to your parents. And he's a little hesitant about that. And he says, even though you're a young boy, you're not too young to learn something very important. And that's the truth of all living things. 
And Aurora says, you must believe that everything will be beautiful in your life. You must have faith in yourself and in God in all the time, no matter what. God gave each of us the power to feel his love. When you're afraid, you need to remember this very special love. So this is a lesson he's learning. He and Aurora start to go back to the edge of the forest. He hugs her goodbye and promises that they'll see each other again. There he goes off. You can see his little shoulders are down because he's a little sad that he has to leave Aurora, but he's, he's happy he's going back to his parents. And there his parents find him. He runs toward his mother and his father. Tears of joy stream down Christopher's face. They rush toward him, cradling Christopher in their arms for a very long time. Later that night, Christopher's in his own bed, and he's dreaming about Aurora and all his friends. He falls asleep knowing there would be other adventures with all his new uh, friends very soon and that God will protect him and all of them. The end. This is a gorgeous book. It's very calming for children. It's very reassuring. And, um, of course, the pictures, you can tell, they're, they're gorgeous. They're, the write-up that uh, Michelle and... Tommy did is beautiful. The manuscript is, is utterly fascinating. And then, the, of course, my illustrations are magical, and they go right along with it. And they're on each page along with the verses that go with it. This book was conceived by a dream that Tommy Rosa had when he had a very serious illness. And he adapted it for children. It's very powerful and will help your child Feel brave and secure and happy in God's love. It's a book you need to get. You can find it on Amazon.com. Thank you.